In my review of the Diletta Mio, it didn't take people long to start noticing the similarities between it and the very popular Escaso Steel Duo. So now that I have both machines here in the studio, I thought I would make a comprehensive comparison to help you decide which is going to be best for you. Now there is a large enough price gap between the Steel Duo and the Mio that it is at least worth mentioning, but I think that's sort of what makes this comparison interesting. If you want to check your local pricing for either of these two machines, I will have them linked down in the description below. For the sake of transparency, these two machines were sent to me by Seattle Coffee Gear in order to make this comparison. As always, that will have zero impact on the contents of this video or the opinions expressed in it. Starting off with build quality, when you compare two machines at slightly different price points, you would expect to also get slightly different quality of materials and finishing. And in this case, that is exactly what you get. The Diletta Mio is somewhat reserved in terms of its external finishing. The designers were clearly trying to fit as much functional value into the machine as possible while keeping the price point down. Now this is absolutely not to say that the Diletta is poorly built, quite the opposite. The shell is all metal, it comes with a great port filter, the buttons are high quality and tactile, and there is zero plastic to be found in the build. However, certain areas such as the drip tray are pretty bare bones. In comparison, the Escaso is a noticeable step up. It also comes with a great porta filter, but the handle is now made of wood, as is the variable steam knob. The group head is beautifully sculpted and looks very high end. The cup rail has nice details, and the whole working area is illuminated, which is a really nice touch. Now, apart from the bump in build quality, and I recognize that aesthetics are completely subjective, but I find it hard to imagine that many people would argue the fact that the Steel Duo is the better looking of these two machines. I do sort of wish that I had the Mio in black as well to make this a bit more of an apples to apples comparison, but either way, the Steel Duo just has some certain special sauce. Both the Mio and the Steel Duo are offered in black, white, or plain metal finishes at no additional cost. Moving on to the experience of using these machines day to day, the Diletta has followed very closely in the footsteps of the Escaso, and that is a good thing. Both machines have one of my favorite features, which is a side access water tank. These are much easier to access and fill at home, where espresso setups are often under overhead cabinets. Both machines are also capable of brewing and steaming simultaneously, but neither are technically dual boilers. They both use a separate thermocoil to handle the steaming side, while the brewing is handled by another thermocoil, in the case of the Steel Duo, and a 400 milliliter brass boiler, in the case of the Mio. Now these quasi dual boiler configurations are something that I really hope starts to pick up steam in the home espresso market because they just make total sense. This configuration is much more energy efficient when compared to something like a true dual boiler, but it still offers plenty of steaming performance and capacity for home use, which we'll get into a bit later on. The other benefit of both of these machines is that if you're not planning on steaming, you can choose to simply not heat up the steaming circuit at all. On the Mio, that's as simple as flipping a switch on the side of the machine, while on the Steel Duo, you'll need to dig into the menu system, which I think makes it a little bit less likely that people will take advantage of that feature, which is a shame. On the topic of energy savings, both of these machines also offer the option to set up a sleep timer where the machine will automatically go into a low power mode after the selected amount of time. In terms of startup speed, because the Steel Duo also uses a thermocoil for brewing, it will get itself warmed up about three minutes faster than the Diletta, which also has to heat up its entire 400 milliliter boiler. Once up to temperature, both machines are equipped with PID temperature control, and the displays convert to shot timers when the shot is running. The last big difference is that the Escaso has a great dedicated hot water spout, which is really useful if you plan on drinking Americanos, or even if you just have someone else in your house who drinks tea or other warm drinks. Moving on to espresso performance, these are both excellent steps up for more entry-level machines like a Breville or DeLonghi, assuming, of course, you pair them with an equally good quality grinder. Having PID controlled temperature and commercial 58 millimeter sized porta filters is a big advantage over other lower priced options, and it leads to both the Mio and Steel Duo being able to produce very consistent and excellent quality espresso. 
Both machines also have easy access to their OPV valves if you feel the urge to play around with brewing at higher or lower pressures from the stock nine bars that they ship at. With that being said, the Escaso does have a couple advantages over the less expensive Mio when it comes to espresso. The biggest one being pre-infusion. On the Steel Duo, you can program a pre-infusion of up to five seconds, and then you can also add on a pause of up to another five seconds after that pre-infusion if you want. The other advantage comes by way of programmability. On the Escaso, you can run shots completely manually or program in two preset shot volumes, which are then triggered by toggling up or toggling down on the brewing switch. Shot control on the Mio is completely manual with one button to start and stop the shots. So you'll need to pay attention and stop the shot at your desired volume every single time. Now, one aspect on the Mio that I actually prefer is the temperature display itself. It is always giving you a live, true readout of the boiler temperature, even small fluctuations of a couple degrees. Whereas the display on the Escaso appears to only show the set temperature once the machine has fully warmed up. Of course, all of these features we just discussed are completely for nothing if you don't put good coffee in these machines. A cheap machine with great coffee will always outperform an expensive machine with stale grocery store coffee. For that reason, I will be leaving some excellent coffee linked down in the description below. Before you splurge on a new machine, upgrade your beans. Considering these two machines have very similar steaming configurations, it shouldn't be too surprising to learn that the steaming performance is also quite competitive. Both machines come with no burn steam arms to avoid stuck on milk, and both also come with single hole steam tips. The Mio also comes with a two hole steam tip, which is a nice touch in case you prefer one style over the other. In terms of speed, the Steel Duo will take around 45 seconds to steam a drink, whereas the Mio will take slightly longer at 55 seconds when using that same single hole tip. If you do install the two hole tip on the Mio, it will bring that time down to around 50 seconds, but regardless, it's a pretty clear conclusion that the Mio is around 10 seconds slower in general. Not a huge deal for home use, but definitely worth noting. The updated Steel Duo now also gives you the option to control the steam temperature, although I'm not really sure when you'd ever change that from the maximum, and it also adds the use of a variable wooden knob, which compared to the Mio's simple push button is definitely more enjoyable to use. So, with all of that being said, which one of these two machines should you be going for? If you are on a strict budget, you should feel absolutely no hesitation going for the Diletta Mio. It takes heavy inspiration from the form factor, features, and functions of the Steel Duo, and offers you 90% of that performance, but at a lower price point. However, if you aren't tight on cash or simply want the better machine, then the Escaso does justify its higher price tag. The finishes are more premium, the looks are stunning, it includes pre-infusion adjustment, a hot water spout, and more steaming power and control. I think that these two machines actually very nicely complement one another with their respective feature sets and price points. You really can't go wrong with either. So again, if you want to check out the Mio or the Steel Duo, I have them linked down in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and even consider subscribing if you want to see some more like it in the future. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.